If there's one thing TLC does better than anybody else, it's making you feel better about your life. What's going on everybody, I'm Eric, and today we're talking about a guy named Big Ed. Now if you don't know who I'm talking about, he is on a very popular show here in the US called 90 Day Fiance. And the show's basically about people who are going to other countries to meet someone for the first time and marry them. So as you can imagine, they're pretty much all train wrecks. And that's kind of the beauty of the show. Who doesn't love to watch other people suffer? Ed found himself a hot little Panay Filipino wifey that is younger than his daughter. So we're gonna take a look and see how this unfolds for Ed, never having met Rose Marie, which is the Filipino girl uh, that is younger than his daughter, and see how it unfolds for him. But before we do that, let's take a second to learn just a little bit, just a little bit about Ed and who he is as a person. In a few days, I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go meet Rose, the love of my life, for the very first time. Okay, he's got a I'm spatula excited because and some mayonnaise. I also bought a ring, and I plan to ask Rose to marry me. <laughs> oh my God! Since I met Rose, I like what is he even? What is he doing? Who the heck puts mayonnaise in their hair? So I have been dyeing my hair, and it irritates my scalp. So. I found out that mayonnaise makes it smoother. Oh, I see. So mayonnaise is a moisturizer for your head. You know they do make moisturizers that you can purchase from the store. Matter of fact, I dyed my hair about a week ago. I don't know if you can see my streaks. And it came with moisturizing shampoo, like in the box. Maybe I should have been using mayonnaise. I don't know. Maybe I'm not frugal enough. If only I had seen this first. I'm self-conscious of my physical appearance because Rose is 31 years younger than me. Come again? Is 31 years younger than me. Is 31 years younger than me. I smell like an egg salad sandwich. I mean, literally all this guy's missing is a samurai sword and some tomatoes. And there you go, Fu Fruit Ninja. Lunch Lady Fruit Ninja. Now Big Ed also didn't mention a couple things to Rose. So he's holding a couple of secrets. I have been keeping a few things from Rose. One is my height. I'm 4'11", not 5'2". There's another thing, and that is I don't want any more kids. I want to get a vasectomy, but I don't want to tell her. This girl is, what, 22 or tw something like that? And you, you're, just, you're gonna get a vasectomy and not like even tell her? Forget about the height thing. Who cares if you're four foot two? So Big Ed brings his mayonnaise and his bowl of lies all the way over to the Philippines, and here's what happens. This is at the airport uh, when he first flies into the Philippines in Manila, I'm guessing. The love of his life. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, but you gotta love the way he runs up to her. <laughs> Why is he pushing his whole body forward like that? What is, what is this? Oh my God. I don't even, that's just so weird. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Fine. Are you real? Yeah, oh my God, you're so real. I couldn't find you. I was so worried. I'm like, I didn't think you were going to come. Hi, because it's tra traffic. Because why? Traffic. Oh, traffic. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, so sorry. this is real. Pinch me. Pinch me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like an out of body experience for me. Because for three months, I FaceTime with her. And now I'm standing in front of her and I really want to kiss Rose. I really do. I really do. But I want to make sure that she really likes me. That you. <laughs> the one thing that I love about uh, Rose, I think, is that it's very easy to read her. She's, she's an open book. That you. You know what's going through her mind when she's answering these questions. Mm. Am I what you expected? Do you like? I expected you are tall to me. Tall, oh, more tall. <laughs> Short to me. <laughs> I thought if I told you I was the same height, maybe I would have a chance. I see on pers in person, he, he is really big. <laughs> Whatever. If he's a bigger guy, who cares? That's, I mean, that's not the point. It's the fact that she seems so off-put. Like, she seems so like, 
what? <laughs> totally not what she was expecting. It's, it's, it's just funny. I don't know. It's priceless, you know? It's, it's just priceless. They decided to go walk around in the blistering heat of Manila with the crowded streets and the food vendors and the stuff, whatever's there. This is what it was like. This is, this is crazy. I, li I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's just a lot to take in. Hi. Hi, do you speak English? You're in the middle of a major city in a, in a foreign country in the Philippines, Manila. You walk up to a group of people and the very first thing you ask them is, do you speak English? I, I never claim to be like a super cultured person. Okay, I've been to a few different countries and, you know, I, can, I understand it can be a culture shock when you go to a new country you've never been to. But to just assume that they all speak English is a little, I don't know. Is it likely? I mean, probably not. Does anybody speak English? Oh my God. Pajamas, I think these are pajamas. The fact that Rose doesn't even have pajamas made me feel really sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her pajamas. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. and I have pink. Yeah, nice. How much? I mean, I wonder if you ever stopped to consider that maybe she just doesn't want to wear pajamas. Maybe she wants to sleep in the nude, you know? I, I haven't been to the Philippines, but my mother-in-law, she is from the Philippines. She moved here when she was 25, I think. From everything that I hear, it is really hot and muggy over there. And the living conditions are nothing like what it is here in the U.S. For him to not at least have an idea of what he's walking into, it just seems crazy. You can literally Google and see what it's like in another country. It's not that difficult. <laughs> 180 pesos. 180 pesos. You can't just grab from my wallet. It's like what? I want to see how much this a is. A dollar or something? I don't even know how much this is. How much? 180? Awesome. Keep the change. No. Yeah. No? Keep the change. It's 10 pesos. <laughs> God, 10 pesos? What is that? It's like freaking 10, 5 cents or something? Like, it's 20 cents. It's freaking 20 cents, Ed. Rather than looking like an idiot, just Google it. Thank you. Okay. See this. God, he's so sweaty. I'm just in a swarm of hot, sweaty people. Right now, it's I think probably you're the only one that's hot and sweaty right now, Ed. Just going to put that out there. I mean, he sticks out like a sore thumb. Just saying. Probably over 100 degrees. I'm sweating my ass off right now. I want to buy your dress with you flowers. Want, oh, you want to buy a shirt with flowers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, even Rose is in on it. She's like, we got to get you out of this shirt, man. The interesting thing about Ed is he's got conditions to all his love affairs. And this is one of them. I know you're tired of me asking about your past, and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to put it behind us. But I have a favor. What the favor? So there's a test that you can take. Yeah. You test me? No, yeah, a te it's a, a test for... Um, for... Um, I don't know if you understand it. It's um, STD, which is... Holy... Um, I think it's a blood test. And they just test to see um, if you have, um, like, sexually transmitted disease. So that... So I was asking if you're willing to take that test, I'll never ask you a, a, an, another question about your past. Haven't you ever heard of condoms, Ed? You could probably guess how this turns out. That's all I wanted. I don't have any voice anymore. With that's all. That's all I wanted. She said, sure, I'll get an STD test if you get one too. But Big Ed didn't like that. So take this simple test and I'll never ask you again. Okay. Oh, so, you too. You have a test. That's fair. Totally fair, right? You want both me to take a test? Yeah, both of us. I would feel comfortable in the States. Really? So you're too good to take this test in this dirty, stinky, low-life, third-world country with all these smelly people, but it's fine for her. I see how that works. Is that his version of, well, we'll put it off till I get back to the States and then something comes along and keeps him from ever taking the STD test? Pretty sure everybody sees right through that one. And uh, this is the fallout. And I'm sorry, you I'm, I'm you, not gonna you, you spend want, the rest of my life with somebody I can't trust. You want to know who's the father of your prince? It's in my own, her life. Her life, it's her own, her baby, her own wife. 
So I never talk to her. I never have any voice anymore with so, That's all. That's, this is all I wanted was what you just said. That's right there. That's all I wanted. You know you're in trouble. You know you're in trouble when you can't understand what they're saying. That's not the look of happiness. Okay. I don't want to talk to you because you don't understand me. Well, hello. I don't speak Tagalog, please. Rose, we're getting somewhere. Please. You don't really have to speak Tagalog to understand what she's saying. I think it's pretty obvious, Ed. I can book your room at my same hotel. Book your new hotel. I okay. want to go to sleep and go home in the morning. Okay. What just happened? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Be honest, Ed. You know exactly what happened. I... Do not believe in love. I love you. We're soulmates. Get an STD test, bitch. So now, yes, the story goes on. Ed actually convinces her to come back, apologizes for being an idiot, and goes to meet Rose's family. And anybody that knows what it's like in the Philippines, especially in the really poor areas, knows that Big Ed's going to have a pretty hard time. <laughs> and let me just say, too, a lot of the video titles that are coming out of this are freaking hilarious. No Neck Ed settles in with his new family. No Neck Ed and Rose had sex, then shave each other. <laughs> Where else are you going to get titles like this? This is, this is the greatest thing ever. Like, where am I going to sleep tonight? I'm not looking forward to it. I'll take this. Ah, decision lang ko na dito ako matulog para sama-sama tayo. My dad say he want here to sleep with you and me. Here? Yeah. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll just, yeah. Because my dad, he worried about me. I've never, ever shared a room with my girlfriend and her father. Here my bed. Sorry for my roof. Oh, Will this roof hold? It's not going to come down, no? No, 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 no. She doesn't have a bed. She has a little mattress pad that she rolls out. So she basically sleeps on the floor. So where's Prince going to sleep? With my sister. But I have a skin condition called atopic dermatitis. So I can only sleep with sheets that have at least a thousand thread count. Of course. I mean, it just makes perfect sense. So I preemptively shipped these special sheets to Rose, but they didn't arrive. Now I'm screwed. This is my home. This is my life. This is my ordinary life. <laughs> Look at the shock and disbelief in this guy's eyes. And then he ends up showering with Rose's dad. When in Rome, right? This has to be the weirdest experience of my life. If there's one thing that you can definitely say about Ed is that he's a character. Rose. Rose. Yes, I'm here. Oh, I dropped it, so. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You done? Oh my god. I mean, let's be honest though. What is wrong with that rat? It looks like it's like the great granddaddy rat. Hey, look, it's a Filipino broom. Hey, ha, I have a couple of those. Cool. Rose, what is that? I did a mouse. That's a mouse or a rat? I, I think so. Yeah. I cannot wait to get out of here, so I'm going to make hotel reservations as soon as possible. <laughs> 
I guess that's the price you gotta pay if you're Big Ed and you wanna get with Rosemary. There's still more to this story. It's still ongoing. I think there's another episode or maybe two episodes left. I don't know. Interestingly enough, Big Ed is actually a streamer. Yeah, like he streams playing video games on Twitch. What? <laughs> right? I mean, it all makes so much sense. Uh, and I think he goes by the name This Is Big Ed. So if you wanna be entertained and see this strange, weirdly charismatic guy, uh, on stream, you can go check them out on Twitch. I guess we're just gonna have to see uh, their love unfold in future episodes of 90 Day Fiance, the freaking train crash that's about to happen. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like for Big Ed and Rose Marie. See you in the next video. That's a wrap. I mean, look at these titles. Ed doesn't have sex, then Rose picks his wallet and humid hell. <laughs> No neck Ed and Rose get pictures and he quizzes her pass. No neck Ed goes all in on Rose's STD test. <laughs> oh, this is insane.